Hey guys, it's Christian in New Orleans. Uh, this is uh, Vinyl Record Collection update number 11. Today's going to kind of be a mashup a little bit. Uh, I'm going to do some um, some vinyl records in the beginning, so if you tune in to, to see that, uh, I'll do that first. And when that's out of the way, I was going to go ahead and uh, give an overview of my, my Christmas gift, uh, the new turntable and the, uh, the music setup. So um, anyway, get right into it. Uh, the first thing I have to show is a box set that it took me about a year to complete, but I finally got it done at Christmas time. It's the Iron Maiden Complete Albums. There it is, right there. Uh, comes in this red pleather bound uh, box, and the way you purchased this, if you don't remember, uh, they announced this was coming out, and the first thing they released was the box itself, and the first three records, which are self-titled, uh, Killers and um, Number of the Beast, and then every month afterwards they would release uh, one album until they were all done. And it goes from self titled through Seven Son to Seven Son. Um, that's the considered the classic lineup that's before Janet Gayers. Uh, uh, they brought him on or whatever to play guitar as well. Uh, so, um, yeah, it took me a while to do. Um, I will say. Um, with the exception of Live After Death, I have an original pressing, original U.S. pressing of every one of these records. And I will say they did a great job. Uh, with the repressing, uh, they are at least, the fidelity is at least as good, and the songs are at least as good as the um, first U.S. pressing, I can say, because I've compared them very closely. Uh, these are all on 180-gram uh, uh, black vinyl. And that came on the outside, that was a stick on the outside of each uh, album as you purchased it. So I cut a couple off just to, to keep for nostalgia's sake. Um, anyway, that's the, uh, the back of it or whatever. Um, I've seen better uh, made uh, box edge, I guess, uh, boxes. Um, but this one's okay. Um, that's the, uh, the outer spine or whatever. Anyhow, I mean, I, I highly recommend it. Uh, you know, especially if, uh, you know, next to an original press, these are fine. Uh, much better than the uh, picture disc reissues that came out, I think, in uh, 2012. I have one of those. I think it's Power Slave, and it's it's not, uh, you know, I'm happy to have it, but I, I will pursue the, the remaining picture discs. Those are those are just fine. And then last week, or it might have been two weeks ago now, um, I got an email uh, from Hell's Head Bangers. Um, advertising um, some reissues of some old enslaved uh, records and like the spineless vinyl collector, pitiful spineless vinyl collector I am, I consume. So Hell's Head Bangers, uh, you're doing something right with your emails. Um, and the first one I have is, uh, is the classic Frost. Comes on a high gloss package, outer jacket. This is an Osmos repressing. I think this is 2013. Um, uh, yeah. It, anyway, it's it's Osmos, so I assume it's a um, a French pressing. Um, yeah. I mean, nothing needs to be said about this record. It's a absolute masterpiece. Uh, while it is not my favorite Enslaved, I'll get to that one in a minute. Uh, very good. It's an excellent starting point if, you, if you're not into Enslaved yet. Uh, and even though this is, you know, incredibly lo-fi black metal, uh, the progressive seed has already been planted if you listen close enough to this record. Um, excellent, excellent Viking metal. Uh, the next one is Eld. Which I'm not sure if that's Old Norse or uh, I guess Common Norse means fire in Norwegian, Icelandic, something like that. Uh, this is a double double black. Uh, they come in these uh, nice anti-static sleeves. Gotta love that slick black, huh? Good looking. Uh, they're not they're not incredibly thick. They're 100 and maybe 140 gram, maybe maybe. That's the other. Gotta love these anti-static sleeves. And then finally, my personal favorite uh, enslaved record, um, and I, you know, this one takes a little heat 
Uh, I think that actually L takes more heat than this one, I think. Um, but this is personally my favorite in Slave Record. Uh, this is Blood Hammer. Yep, on another high glass, gloss pie package, uh, Osmos Productions. I'm, I'm pretty sure these are 2013 repressings. Anyway, that's the, uh, the inner sleeve. And again, it's just the same. Uh, happy to have these. These are awesome, awesome. Uh, I haven't spun L yet. Uh, that's the only one I haven't spun yet. Um, the other two are, I mean, I couldn't be happier with them. They're not incredibly expensive either, so. Except for the, uh, the gateful L is a little bit more. Um, the other two are like $18 a crack, I think, and then the, uh, the gateful is like 24, 22, 24. Uh, in the background, um, we've got uh, Electric Wizards, Witch Cult today. Uh, next to Dope Smoker, I think that's their best effort. Time to Die, I thought it was an excellent record also uh, that came out last year. Anyhow, well, that's going to do it for all the vinyl that I have to show. So at this point, um, you know, if that's what all you were interested in, then there's no more after this. So uh, anyhow, I'm going to go ahead and flip you around and I'll show you what uh, we're working with. Okay, now as promised, uh, a couple of weeks ago I had put out a video asking for any sort of uh, recommendation as far as three turntables that I was interested in purchasing. Uh, we were looking at the Rega RP1, the Project Debut 3, and the ATLP, Audio Technica ATLP 120. And this is what I settled on. And it is the Project Debut 3. Um, could not be happier. Could not be happier with this record player. Uh, so far, um, I don't feel like I could give a complete and total review just because I haven't spend enough time with it simply um, there's not too much that at this point I found that I don't care for um, look at that slick black motherfucker yeah I opted for the piano black um, and couldn't be happier with it uh, you can get that in just about any color you want um, anyhow uh, it tracks incredible this is a light years ahead jump in quality for what I had uh, which was the Audio Technica ATLP 60, which has nothing wrong with that as an entry level. Uh, and in fact, this is not considered audio file level, it's considered a, an entry level. However, um, this comes with the Ortofon uh, 2M cartridge, which uh, that alone uh, is worth more than my prior turntable setup in total. Uh, yeah, I have the, uh, my amp is the Yamaha. Uh, natural Sound RX 397. It does come with a photo stage. It's why I picked it out. I bought it brand new and it was affordable. And I'm kind of a fan of Yamaha stuff. Uh, my speakers are vintage. The Eclipse Heresy 2s, these are American made Eclipse. Uh, and they actually, the serial numbers are ascend in ascending order, which I hear makes them a little bit more valuable. Uh, I couldn't be happier with them. Um, I did use these up here, which are the Hulk. Hulk TSX bookshelf speakers, and that's what I purchased when I first got the record player. And, and those were awesome. Those, those little things scream. Um, however, I, I kind of inherited these, and uh, it's just no comparison. You just can't compare the two. At any rate, there it is. Oh, and this is, let's see, this was also a Christmas gift right here. Um, my wife had my dad make this for me. I, this is awesome. It's perfect for me and how I collect or whatever. There's the collection. I think you guys have seen everything in here. Cannabis Corpse, Destroyer 666, Black Sabbath, Heaven and Hell, Black Dahlia Murder, Bathory, uh, what's that, Lamb of God, uh, Megadeth, Rust in Peace, yep, Melvins, Midnight. Anyhow, now I just have it in a this cool shelf. Slayer, yeah, y'all seen all of this stuff. Anyways, uh, to this point, um, yeah, I definitely, definitely recommend the Project Debut 3. Anyhow, I, thanks for all the input. Uh, I appreciate it. Uh, thanks for watching. You know where to keep metal. See y'all later.